Hi everyone and welcome to another Figma tutorial. In today's Figma tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this select image slider. As you can see, when I click on an image, it's actually automatically selected and it appears in this main frame right there at the top. And then it, you can also navigate through it by actually clicking on this direction icons. It actually takes it right to the next image and it's actually that simple. So if you really want to learn more, just stick in and let's stick into the video and let's watch till the end. All right, let's get into today's video. Alright, so I've opened a new project right here. Then I'm gonna call this my select image slider. Okay, so I'm gonna insert a frame. I wanna use the let's use the desktop 1440. Alright. Let's give it a cool background color. Yeah. Let's give it something like um okay, that will do. Alright, so next we're gonna insert uh, some frame where we're gonna insert the images. So we're gonna insert a rectangle shape. There we go. Just gonna draw it. Alright, then I'm gonna need two copies of this. So I'm gonna give the actually let's first center that. Alright. So I'm gonna give this an or okay, let's give it a white. Okay, we're gonna call this the background then I'm gonna duplicate it by clicking ctrl D so now I have a second one so second one I'll just change the color to orange then I'll call the second one main all right so um, so in the main one I'm gonna add a stroke I'm gonna give it a white stroke then I'm gonna change the stroke weight to five, just like that. So make sure you select your main. Then we're gonna click Alt on your keyboard, and then we're gonna duplicate it like that. Then we're gonna compress it. I'll do that, but make sure you hold Shift. So that the dimensions actually equal. Just make it a little bit smaller. All right there we go. So I'm going to duplicate this, click Alt. Alright, just make sure it's spaced by at least 55. Alright, so you just want to make sure that each one of them is spaced by 55. That's okay. 55 again. Okay, looking good. Then we want to make sure to align all of them until we see that center line. Okay, there we go. That's going to be okay. All right, they're gonna call this one. Double click one. It's gonna be two, three, and four. All right, there we go. So we're gonna open a plugin we have. It's called Unsplash. All right, then I'll just select and uh, I'll just go for the option models because there, there are very many to choose from, and. Uh, so actually be a cool category. Let's start with uh, let's start with this. Let's just make sure that the image is actually slightly um, distant. Start with the main one. Let's go with that. Then let's wait for it to right. So it's actually aligned. And I want to reposition that. Just click. All right. I think that would do. Okay, let's just leave it. Go back to our plugin. Make sure to open and splash uh, again. Let's just go with models again. So we have very many categories to choose from, but we want something that looks a little bit landscape like or where the person actually looks like they're slightly distant from the camera. Okay. Mm. let's go with this yeah, but as you can see it doesn't actually fit the we want to we're gonna work on that so we're gonna select this now 
we shall fix that. Alright, then we can select that. And three. So lastly, we can actually choose that. So let's actually change the main one. I'm going to switch that to a different image. Let's go with that. Alright, so we're going to need to crop this. Let's go to our cropping option right here. So I'm going to crop this. So it actually fits in properly. Alright, that's much better. Let's do some cropping here also. Okay, much better. Let's crop that. Okay, looking okay. So cropping is just to make sure that everything actually fits in perfectly. Crop this. Okay, much, much better. Right, so there we go. Uh, so next we want to insert some, we're going to draw some rectangle shapes, actually square shapes. Let's just make sure you hold shift while doing this. Okay, then I'm going to place this, make sure it's actually right at the center until you see that straight line, that straight horizontal line. Then just click on the right uh, direction key on your keyboard. Then I'm going to change this color to orange. Right, so click on your plugins and I'm going to go to Iconify. Then we're gonna just type in next. Then we're gonna choose one of the icons that comes in. I want to make use of that direction icon. So it comes when it's in a frame, but we're gonna remove it out of the frame, then delete that frame. Then we're gonna increase its size. Alright, we're gonna give it a white. Then we're gonna flip it by 180. Then we're gonna compress it again. Just make sure it's centered. All right, but we want to reduce its size a little bit again. All right, it's actually centered now. All right, so with both selected, do that by holding shift. They're gonna duplicate this. Just make sure it's also centered. Then place the left direction key. Right, then we want to flip this to zero. All right, looking much better. That's much, much better. All right, so I'm going to position these, just bring them a little bit closer. actually something I may just need to do I'm just gonna uh, it's actually a mistake but we're just gonna duplicate this just click ctrl C we actually need to replace one of these images with actually this main one okay so we're gonna click ctrl C then so select this click ctrl ctrl C and copy and then just go to this and then we're going to paste to replace. All right, that's actually really big. We want to resize that to 271 by 115. Let's resize that. 271. 115. All right, that's much, much better. All right. So going to remove the strokes from all these. Set that to zero, set this stroke to zero, and set this to zero also. So I want to make sure that we only have this, then we're going to give it a stroke weight of 10. So it's actually thick enough that someone from far can actually see it. All right, so there we go. 
that's it so I'm gonna create a component out of this just click on this sign here create component or you can actually right click and just say uh, look for the option of create component all right but we've actually created the component we need so just gonna call our component slider so gonna drag it out so we have it out there then we're gonna create some variants just click on create variant then we're gonna enlarge the frame uh, capacity so that you can actually see more within all right so um this is our first frame right there so we're gonna go into the variant two then we're gonna make some changes so what we want to happen first is when a user clicks on uh on one of the images it actually changes the main background image so right now in the first one when the user clicks on image one this is actually the background image so when the user clicks on the second one we want to make sure there is actually that change so um we're gonna make sure there is that change right there all right so for that to actually be easy let's let's rename these again so this is our main this is one two three four okay so this is our let's actually first delete this second one this the variant two then we're gonna let's do that again just click ctrl d to create the second variant all right this is our variant two so uh we're gonna make such changes so in our variant two we want the main one to actually change because uh, we, we're not, we're not just want to make sure that image 2 is actually selected. So change this stroke back to 0. Then we're going to give this a stroke width of 10. Then we want to make sure that's the image. That image 2 is what appears on the main. Just click Ctrl C on your keyboard. Then go to your main. And then right click and click Paste to replace. Okay has actually become really small but we're gonna make that change that's actually why we needed the background image so we're gonna resize that image 1124 by 519 1124 by 519 all right then just make sure you position it in a way that it actually covers actually our main then we're just gonna remove it uh, I'm gonna set this to z to five it's stroke with it okay it's actually slightly wider when I resolve that All right that's actually looking fine then we have that's where image 2 is selected so we're going to duplicate this ctrl d on your keyboard and then we want to make sure that the third image is now the one that's selected so we're going to set this stroke weight to zero we're going to set this stroke weight to 10 just as you can see then we want to make sure this actually replaces the main image so image 3 click ctrl c copy then go to the main and click paste to replace okay just make sure the same size one one two four five hundred nineteen okay one one two four five hundred nineteen it's gonna resize it slightly change its stroke with it to five make sure it fits perfectly one one two four one one two four sorry about that I'm gonna resize that again right ok 
Okay. Okay, that's looking fine. Just want to reposition this. One of the boxes. Right. Just want to make sure they actually look neat. Alright, so there we go. So we're going to duplicate this variant 3 again. Click Ctrl D. Then we're going to make the final replacement. So actually this one is supposed to be called main. Right. There we go. So in the last one, we want to make sure the image 4 is actually selected. So set this to 0. And set this to 10. They're going to click copy. Then I want to replace this. Paste to replace. Remove that stroke. Let's set that to 5. Increase this 1, 2, 4. 5, 1, 9. Just make sure to place it on top of the white. Okay. Make sure it actually fits perfectly. Right there we go. It's actually fitting. Make sure it's called main. Right, there we go. So next we're going to do some prototyping. So just go to your prototype mode. And then uh, we want to make sure, just go to your default menu right there. Just make sure to uh, select image 1. We want to make sure that when image 1 is selected, it actually stay there. So go to image 2. When a user clicks on image 2, it actually goes to this next variant. So on click, variant 2. Let's change that to smart animate. Alright. Want to make sure the same thing happens when user clicks on this image, it actually goes to that other variant. Then this last thing goes to variant 4. Alright, then when user clicks on these direction icons, this will actually take them to the next image right here. This will actually take a user back to that other image. So, moving on to variant 2. When user clicks on image 1, should take them to the first variant. This actually keeps them here. This takes them right there. This takes them to the fourth variant. Then, with the directions, this will actually take a user back. Let's take a user to variant three. Right, so that's it with variant two. Inside variant uh, three, want to make sure the user clicks on this image, it actually take them right there to variant to the default this takes them to variant 2 this skips them here then this takes them to variant 4 then we're going to work on the directions when a user clicks on this it takes them back there this takes a user to the next image that's it with variant 3 then in variant 4 user clicks on image 1 it takes them back to the first slider the default this takes them to the second one this takes them to the third one when a user clicks on this, it just keeps them there. Right, so when a user clicks on the next, it takes them to the very first one. Then six takes the user back to variant 3. Right, that's it. Got your design mode. Then we're going to go to the default and we're going to duplicate it by clicking Alt. Then we're going to place it right into our frame. Then we can play and taste it. Alright, something we want to do, we just want to make sure to actually fit this to screen, so that's actually all visible. So see what happens, when user clicks on another image, you can actually see the change that happens. And uh, that's more like it. That's more of the slider we actually wanted. When user clicks on back, you can actually see that there is a movement, it moves in a cycle. It takes them back to the next image, to the next one, to the next one, just like that. 
and that's actually what we wanted to do thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it feel free to leave a like on the video feel free to tell me below in the comments if it actually really helped you and then uh if you're new to this channel i encourage you to join in the community by subscribing then make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get updates every single time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye